Well, hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you photo gallery in my website here. Now, you can see that on the desktop right here, I have four of the browser is open. One is Firefox, the second one is Google Chrome, the third one is Chrome Web Browser, and the fourth one is Opera. So that we're going to show in a different state. This is my website here, which is on the development that I'm going to show the photo galleries right here. This is where we're going to focus on it. So if you're not logged in yet, that we're going to show as a public image that's right here. That so far I got six image right here. If you click on any of this one, it will show the full image. It will open another tab and show the full image right there. And if you click on the title right here, it will show the big image, also the code that you can use. You can embed it when if you log in and you use it as a member. This one is on anonymous. Let's see if I log in as a member. So I go to user login and then I go as test. Let's test login. Now in test login, just go to gallery and you can see that when he was logged in so he got the form to upload the new file you have five image in here you may click on any of them you can change that so if he do not want this one to be public he just only change this to none or if he need to change this one say and you can see that it saves immediately without refreshing the page now anonymous page if this man do not log in he cannot see this image right unless this one set to public then he can see it again now go back and refresh you can see that it's come sick all right so let's go on chromium web browser and what if i log in as a moderate so when the user log in as a moderate you will see that it's a little bit similar to the member okay but what he can do right here is he can do like and change the titles but he have an option to delete this as well so what happened if he delete it it will goes away right without refreshing you can see that the image is gone right now now let's see if he do something like this one is set to allow by admin this one if he set to no and when he go back and to this it will not show is it is gone of course but this one let's say Let's say this too sexy picture of the user test. All right, he got allowed right here, so that's why he can show this to the to the public. Okay, so if the moderate say that too sexy here, if the moderate say is not allowed by admin, when this guy come back on here and he refresh it, you can see that is not allowed. So it doesn't matter even the user test set image, show image to public as yes. It will not going to show up right here. You see that? Of course, this can delete. So he just click here and then he can delete that. So this one is the functionals of the moderate. Now let's go to Opera and let's log in as admin. On the admin, you can see that is absolutely different than the first one the form is the same you can upload the thing very similar to moderate so i'm going to upload i say new upload oh upload i say upload new and i use this and i select yes to the public and then choose the file go to picture and get the file so you can see that user can see the file before they upload and now let's upload it so the upload is completely so up, after I upload it 
Let's come here and say upload new right here. And even I do something right here, I put hash in here and I click somewhere else, this will be safe. Right? And I go to the last page. I have an pagination right here. So let's say one. 20, 21 item. So this one is the last one. If I go to the page 2, it will show 10 image. So at the page 1, it will show 10 image as well. Alright, today just only show this far. And if anyone like to have this code, just go ahead and feel free to email me. I'm going to post this code over the internet. And absolutely, it's just below the description of this video that you have clicked on. Alright everyone, the download link at the description is will say something like this. All you have to do is just select all of them and copy it. So what you have to do is just open another tab in your web browser program and then you pass it in. And just hit enter on your keyboard. It's going to never get you to this page. As long as you can see this say gallery underscore vo one dot o two dot seven c it will be fine and then you can click on this download it will take you to the download all right and in this video i'm going to put i'm going to save the download file into download folder just click on save so that's it now you can see that I got a download right here so now I will go on the download so you can see that I got gallery vol 1.02 something like that so all I have to do is just right click on this and open or I say extract here now I got the folder named gallery vol 1.02 and you will see another two folder in here. One is the application, the other one called public. Now let's go into the public folder. You will see the other folder called CSS. Click on it, you will see custom theme.css. You can use any of your text editor, your favorite text editors in this. I will use Bluefish text editor right here. Now you can see that I will go on to the this download sorry and I will go on gallery and then I will open that so click open click open and then click open now it's take me to is something wrong right here I don't want it okay you can see that custom theme.css now let's go to another one go to application you will see another folder called controller core models and view all right now click on the controllers and I click on the file name gallery and you can see that this one is the controller of the gallery that the code of the code that you can see and you can read all this now I'll go to the models which is, has only one file is say mdls underscore gallery and I double click on that so now I can read all those contents in here if I go to view folder it will show another folder named gallery click on that so you get the file and the gallery folder you get one two three four five six seven eight you get eight five in this folder and you can read each of them but by the way let me clarify this to you your code don't expect that when you download this code and put it on your project don't expect this course will be work on your project unless you set everything unless you do understand code igniter the library of php that i use to create this one and you must understand at least a very small or a basic of the jquery and you also have to mostly you have to understand what is called code igniter 
you have to understand how to config them in the way that it will be working so I just only make this video expecting that you will take a look of this code and you try to do understand each line of the code before you even run them into your project and you say hey Farouk this is not working your code is ridiculous it's not working on my system that is because of you get the wrong config on your project all right so if anyone have any problem and just feel free to email me that you know my email and you can even go to my website on this so actually i have nothing much nothing really much to show on my website so let me say if you go on the web browser here and you type in my name Farouk forget just only type this and you hit enter it will show up on the, on the Google that will show up it will be on the link number three all right so this one is my website right here but all this is something that concern to myself okay except this one I don't know is this one <laughs> all right so I believe this video is pretty much about that so let let me show you a little bit more right here this is my code editor my favorite code editor that called vision studio code this is the the file and folder that i have it in here okay so controller you can see that i got the gallery in here okay and i have a core core folder is inside of application folder and I have a uh, models in here and I got out this all right so let's go to public uh, sorry let's go to view and you can see that gallery right here all right so a very good code editor programs can help you a lot like this one uh, Visual Studio Code is free it's totally free you can download it from Microsoft and uh, you can see this one is also a very good one as well it's called bluefish and this one is I am definitely sure that this one is open source all right and it's completely free uh, the other one called a DOM this one is very good one too and I use it a lot uh, I use this one so much to do something on this it's very good tech editor Alright folk, I hope that you do not going to complain me if the code that you have downloaded is not working. That is because you have wrong configs. Alright, so that why it's not working in the way that you expect, like what you saw in this video. Okay, so if you have any query or you have any question, just feel free to ask me. Uh, doesn't matter where you get this one from maybe from Facebook from Google Plus or from YouTube whatsoever okay just feel free to email me as you can see that my emails is show up right below the this video okay so for today thank you very much for watching I hope that you're having good times and we're going to learn coding together we're going to use this code ignite library goodbye and I will see you on next video